Let's be killer. Took it over to Dove Charney at LA Apparel, mm -hmm. and he used to, he founded Los Angeles Apparel. So then uh, we made the White Lives Matter tease, mm -hmm. and then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEF CON tweet, now nah, he, ain't, he ain't releasing the tease because mm -hmm. he's Jewish. Mm. And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm mm. making. Mm. Like, Jewish people have owned the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren shirt or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a Jewish manager or being signed to a Jewish basketball team mm. or doing a movie on a Jewish platform like Disney. Mm -hmm. And we understand it's like I, I, I respect what the Jew, Jewish people have done and how they brought their people together. Mm -hmm. You know, they came into money uh, through the lawyers mm -hmm. when, uh, after Wall Street, when, um, when all of the, uh, like the Catholics, they wouldn't, they wouldn't divorce people. Right. So the right. Jewish lawyers came and they were willing to divorce people. That's when they first came into their money. So like, say, with me and Jay, with our, our culture, mm -hmm. with the, with the darker Jews. Uh, First just, of all, because you got to... It just happens when anybody starts talking deep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the, yeah. Dark, with the darker Jews, the 12 lost tribes of, of Israel, who we mm. are, because we Jewish also. We're from, right. we from Africa also. We're the blood yeah. of Christ. So... If you notice, he said, the blood of Christ, not the blood of Jesus. Oh, so we're not just black. We are Jew, just like the Jewish people. And The prophets of the God of Israel teach in Revelations 2, verse 9 that I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, what type of people deal with synagogues? This helps you identify the ones that say they are Jews and are not. Black people don't deal with synagogues, so it's not talking about the true Jews, it's talking about the Ashkenazi Jews. And since the Ashkenazi Jews are not descendants of Shem, they cannot claim to be Synetic. So therefore, Kanye did not say anything anti-Synetic. Sunday, a good day to correct some false teaching and lies that you've been told while sitting in church or even watching movies, um, reading books. Moses, chosen by God, given the Ten Commandments, most of the laws are based on that today. Even your constitution in America is, some of it is based on the Ten Commandments. Moses, born in Africa, raised by Africans. Moses was a Hebrew, an Israelite, and a black man. All Hebrews were black. He married a woman from Ethiopia, and his sister Miriam didn't like this. She didn't like it because Ethiopians had a different culture to them. So she was talking bad about Moses marrying out of his race. So God was listening to this. And God said, Miriam, Aaron, who the one she was gossiping to, and Moses, please come to the temple steps. I have some things I want to speak to you about. So they were on the temple steps and he said, Miriam, you have been talking about your brother Moses, slandering that he's marrying outside of his culture. That is a sin. He said, so for your punishment, I'm going to strike you with leprosy and whiteness. So she was struck to become a white leper. Now, you can read all this for yourself. The whole story is in Numbers 12, starting at verse 1. So this you can read for yourself. So next to racism, which is a very dark thing in people's hearts, is jealousy and envy. And be very careful because what the, the Bible says about envy is, and you can read it, Proverbs 14.30, it rots your bones. Kanye West, is he actually right about some of the things that he's saying? Once we move past all of the hurt and historic anger that pulls up memories of the Holocaust, 
we want to take a look at the things he's actually saying and does he even have a point here moving past the emotional anger and I think this is something that Kanye West actually suggested we do as well we kind of forget about history and take a look just at the engineering the logical rational side of all of this because for all of the emotional outrage that he causes when he says the words like the Jewish media I mean, the media is kind of controlled by a lot of Jewish people out here. We can actually see here who controls your mind. This was a chart back in 2013. All of these red is Jewish people, right? So they own like Universal Studios, ABC News, CBS, CNN, Columbia Pictures, DreamWorks, Facebook, Google, also run by Jewish people, Yahoo, Marvel, Pixar, The New York Post, LucasArts, MSNBC, DreamWorks, Comcast, The New York Times, Comedy Central, Wall Street Journal. I mean, admittedly, a lot of these large media organizations and tech companies that are able to shape global narratives are run by Jewish people. So does Kanye West have a point here? And to me, it's kind of like saying there's a lot of white male power in executive management positions in corporate companies, and nobody gets mad about that. But when Kanye West says there's a lot of people of Jewish religion in these media companies and tech companies, then everybody gets upset all of a sudden. This guy in the previous clip talked about these so-called Jews owning all of these different corporations that control the media. So apparently these ones are extremely what they call rich. But the Bible says about the ones that are the real Jews, he says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. So the true Jews are impoverished right now. So now you can see the difference between the true Jews and the ones that say they are Jews. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess Black people, you are Israelites, you are the chosen ones, you are a prestigious people. Your history is in the Bible. In order to better understand why you are Israelites, I'm going to bring forward two witnesses from Deuteronomy 28. And if you're not familiar with it, Deuteronomy 28 outlines the curses of the Israelites for not hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Now I'll bring forth my first witness from Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because you didn't keep your end of the covenant, follow the law, statutes, and commandments, you've been cursed. Let's take a look at one of those curses and see if it applies. Deuteronomy 28, 66 reads, And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. Now, I don't know about you, I live in America, black people have no assurance of their life, and it's because you're Israelite. 